Hello, welcome to Mega Light Channel. Today, now the Infinix Hot 10T we want to unbox and review. Today's video is very special. If you watch this video till the end, I will talk about whether the phone are good phone and compare them with other phones too. So make you watch this video till the end. If you never subscribe to this channel, I better subscribe now because very soon we go do free phone giveaway. And now only our subscribers now go feel get this Android phone when worth up to 50k when we won't give you away. So this time we intend to give up to 10 subscribers. So subscribe now before this opportunity go pass you. Okay, so maybe we will unbox the phone and see what is inside the phone. First of all, the phone comes for inside this fine grain package. When we open the box, first thing went inside the box, now the phone. And the phone just did up there with this sticker when they inside with Infinix Hot 10T and the quick specifications when you be say they inside. The first thing when you go see for the quick specification are the 48 megapixel triple camera with super nice scape. Then the next thing are the GPU. You get MediaTek Helio G70 GPU for excellent gaming. And then the 6.82 HD Plus Ultra Smooth Display. Then the battery capacity of 5000 mAh. Wow, that one has a big one. Then we get the Darlink Ultimate Game Booster. Then we go other things when it is said inside the box. For inside the box, you go see one white carton. For back of the white carton, you go see the same injector for inside. And then inside this white carton, when we open them, you go see the S Club card and then the S Pack card and then the screen guard to when it be said inside now transparent screen guard and the last thing inside now the plastic pouch when it be inside and it is transparent too just like the screen guard. Then when we go inside the main box, the next thing when we go see inside now the charger and uh, the fast charger when be say follow the phone come. Then you go see the earpiece. And then the last thing inside the carton, now the charging cable. It they actually use the USB 2.0 charging cable, and I follow the phone call. About the body of the phone, for the front of the phone, you will see the camera when you see a day for the top middle of the phone. And then above the camera, now the small speaker when you feel you stay answer call now the inside. But not today clear for camera like that for you to see the small speaker. If you look at the right side of the phone for the corner, now there now the volume buttons there, the volume up and the volume down, and then the power button. Then if you look the up of the phone, nothing dead here. Then come the other corner of the phone for the left side. Now only the same place night day here with the small hole when they say they put the SIM injector to eject the SIM out. The bottom of the phone, we get the earpiece head jack and then the small microphone hole, actually not small, it's big compared to other phones. And then we get the charging port for here. And the last thing when they hear, now the speaker. For the back of the phone, we get three cameras inside. And the three cameras now 48 megapixel cameras. And then we get the flashlight too. Actually, the phone they use four different LEDs in one flashlight. And then for the middle here, we get the fingerprint sensor. And lastly, for bottom of the phone, we get the Infinix branding for inside. The phone come in four colors. The, the first color of the phone is Morandine green, and then second one is Heart of Ocean. The third color is 7 degree purple, and then the last color is 95 degree black. The operating system of the phone now Android 11 and they use the XOS version of 7.6. Well, Infinix try for the phone, but for me, the first impression of the phone, the back is plastic and it not make it look too okay for me and it's not still too funny for me too. I expect something better, especially the finishing and the design. Just like if you compare it with Techno Camon series and the way they design the back. Then the buttons too, it look like joke to me. I believe same Phoenix for me try to make the buttons better. The way they press, the way they feel, therefore we make them a little better than the way it be now. The phone not too heavy compared to the battery capacity of 5000 mAh. I expect them to have it pass like this. But if I say daylight, make the phone make sense. 
The height of the phone na 17.15 cm, the width na 7.7 cm, while the thickness of the phone na 0.9 cm. Personally, I go say the phone too thick for 0.9 cm. If it is for fit keep the thickness of the phone for about 0.8 cm like some other phones, but the 0.9 cm make them a little too thick compared to other phones. So I don't press the power button now and the phone don't the turn on. Uh, the phone actually when I press the power button it take me a little long time to turn on and it's unusual compared to other phones when they less than 30 seconds but this one they a little above 30 seconds but you know reach 4 seconds before it on and after I do all the initial setup it take me to the desktop area of the phone the phone they very smooth to operate and it respond very fast if you press something it's good for game and the GPU of the phone they very strong for games too in fact Infinix they both say this Hot 10T and the brother Hot 10i they better for game has most other Infinix models when they see them get. The CPU of the phone and MediaTek Helio G70 with octa core processor. These ones will make games respond very fast and if the battery full, person will feel use and play games for up to 14 hours. The battery no bad. If the battery do on standby, if it lasts for 61 days, but the Hot 10i battery better pass this one. That one will last for up to 73 days. If you want to watch the full review of the Infinix Hot 10i, check the description of this video and you will see the link there. The normal things when you say the phone they support na FM radio, voice recorder, Bluetooth, OTG, Wi-Fi and 4G network. Okay. The sensors when you say the phone they support na the G sensor, the compass, gyroscope, light sensor, proximity sensor, and the fingerprint sensor. As for the memory of the phone, when I check up, it's not too bad. Now, 128 gig ROM and 4 gig RAM, like follow and come. And you fit extend the memory by up to 512 gig with memory card. Some special features when you say they follow the phone come now, the app lock, the X proof, and the X clone. With the app lock, you're not going to need to download files and app lock applications from Play Store again because you don't already did the phone. The X proof function work now to blur or darken part of the screen when you say you don't want to make people see. For instance, if you did inside Moto and you they read your WhatsApp message, if you don't want to make the other person when sit down near you for the Moto see what you they read. If you block the messages for the screen and now only the one line of the message when they say you will read, why go they clear? Why other messages when they are above and below the message when you go read, go they blow and person not will feel read that. So far, we don't talk many things about this hot tendency, but I never mentioned the camera. Make we go there. Now, the back camera did this. At first, it makes sense. But after a closer look, I find out say you know too clearish, especially if you zoom out. If you compare them with that hot ten iron, you know too clearish that one. Well, make we compare the two. See how the two look for inside the screen. After now, I go do another video, and that one at the review of these two phones camera and the Infinix Hot 10T. We'll see how the two cameras be, and I go leave the link to that review for inside the description of this video. The front camera try. If you want to take selfie, now the perfect camera for budget users. See some of the pictures when I take with the front camera. The official price of the phone is 66,000 naira. As for what I think about the phone, for my own personal review about this phone, the battery makes sense, but the camera not really there as sharp as I think. If you compare it with the Hot 10i, the Hot 10i camera is sharp, and if you zoom and they clear past this one. But I don't really know what they do in Phoenix this time. Well, this one at 2021, and phones don't they upgrade. Most phones now they are charging cables now, Type C charging cables. When iPhone they use, they, they use. But this one still come with the USB 2.0 charging cables. Well, I think say Infinix should both try for this aspect and then use the Type C charger. But now see this one they use. And just the way I complain about the Hot 10i, this Hot 10 c 2 now the back now the fingerprint sensor did. 
they think improve on them and they make the fingerprint sensor there for the power button place. So that by the time you press the power button, now the fingerprint sensor work, it will still do too. So that one another improvement when they fulfill too. But on the side of the battery, the fact that the phone no heavy and they use 5000 mAh battery. I will say anything in strife for that one if the battery really the last according to the way they rate the battery. Then one last thing too, the price of the phone I'll say makes sense because not the high-end phone, but still on a budget phone. The back, the plastic that it to one. So tell me what you think about the Infinix Hot 10T. Maybe make your comment for the comment section under this video. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel and like our video if you really like this video when it be said we don't do.